Hi, Wrightsville kids. I'm Pastor Julia. So you went back to school this week, probably. How's it going? How's your new grade? Do you like your teachers and the people you go to school with? Well, did you know that if you were alive a hundred years ago or so, you might not have gone to school at all? Okay, I know that maybe sounds fun, but the reason you wouldn't have gone to school is because you would have had to work. And I mean really, really awful stuff, like working in a smelly, gross factory, working all day long with hardly any breaks to sit down or drink water or have a snack. That would be awful. Well, the reason why, thankfully, you get to learn and play and enjoy being a kid now is because there were people who saw what was happening and said, hey, this isn't right. Especially, there were people who were Methodists. That's the kind of church that you go to. This is Wrightsville United Methodist Church. Well, there were Methodists who said, you know, what's happening right now with kids, that doesn't look like what God wants, what we see in the Bible. And so what did they do when they saw this, that the world is one way, but God's heart is something else? They said, we're gonna work to change it. So I actually have here something really cool. This is a page from a newspaper in the year 1912. And I know that's really tiny print, but you can see here's a headline that says Methodists to war against child labor. How cool is it that a hundred years ago, people who don't know you but are old enough to be your great-great-grandparents, maybe even your great-great-great-grandparents, they cared so much about you and about God that they fought so that you could have a better life. They looked at what the world was like and they looked at what God wants for the world and they saw they didn't match. So they set about working to make those two things closer to each other. You know, it makes me wonder. I wonder what you'll do. I wonder what you'll see when you look around the world. What things maybe you'll see that aren't the way that God wants them to be. And I wonder what you'll do. And I hope you know that the church is always here to help you when you want to make change happen. But until it's time for that, I hope that you enjoy being a kid, enjoy learning and enjoy playing throughout the day, and know that your church family helped to make that possible for you. Let's say a prayer. Holy and loving God, we thank you for our parents in the church and our grandparents, and our great-great-grandparents, and our great-great-great-grandparents. Help us to be like them and to help make the world more like you want it to be. We love you, and it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.